Hi, I'm Jim Terrell from QuickBlade. I'm here to show you a couple tricks to shortening a tapered shafted QuickBlade paddle. We have a lot of people that um, buy paddles nowadays and after a year or two they might decide they want to go a little shorter and sometimes just a couple inches shorter. Um, to do that with a tapered shaft system, um, obviously with the tapered shaft, um, there's only certain lengths you can shorten it that lend itself to just being able to cut it from the top end. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So if I want to shorten this paddle um, two inches, it's very easily done. Um, up to three, maybe four inches. After that, the shaft gets uh, quite a bit bigger and it would take a little bit more work. Um, you can always send them back to quick blade paddles for this service. We have all the tools and it's, um, uh, we've done several and we've kind of got a, a good system for that. If you want to do it at home, I'm going to show you how you can do it at home. Uh, if you have some power tools, I'm going to show you how you can do it with a chop saw. Uh, it can also be done with some uh, hand tools. So if you're at home and all you have is a hacksaw, um, the easiest thing to do, if you're going to shorten your paddle by two inches, the, um, the handle itself is an inch and three quarter tall. So you would make the cut just below the handle. And to do that, you would just put this on a table and cut it by hand. Um, just below the handle. If you want to use a chop saw, we're going to put it in the chop saw. Typical chop saw you can get from Home Depot. A lot of you might have these in your garage at home. Uh, I use a um, 100 tooth carbide tip Diablo brand blade that you can also buy at Home Depot. Um, the first thing you want to do is just grab a piece of 2x4 or any piece of material stock that's about this size to stand your handle away from the uh, fence because you don't want that to pinch or catch. So we usually just set it up like this. Um, Bring your blade down so you know exactly where you're going to cut it. You can see I'm going to cut it just below the handle. Okay, so be very careful. Now you have your handle with a bit of the shaft left in it. So now the trick is where do you go from here to bond it back on? What we have is a little thumb sander. Um, we buy these little uh, cap ends from McMaster Car. Uh, some of you guys might have some similar like a Dremel tool that you can use, but uh, we use something like this, a little rubber um, ended shank and you put the, uh, it's a pretty high coarse abrasive, abrasive um, little bit on there. You can use a drill or a Dremel tool and just start opening up your handle. You, just, you can see the uh, material coming out of there. You just take your time, wiggle it around and just little by little you just start working away at it. So, You've got a hole big enough to uh, reposition your shaft. So you can see we've got a little bit to go yet. Um, we actually have a reamer and a drill, a special tapered reamer that we use to do this rather quickly, but you can see it'll take a little bit of hand work, but we'll get there. Another option for you, if you don't want to take the time to save your original handle and you don't mind purchasing another handle from us, save yourself a little bit of work. Um, this handle has a 0 .650 diameter or hole and you can see it doesn't quite mate with the original shaft so we still need to open this up just a touch which we can do you can see I've just got it started so take your time open it little by little so you get a nice fit You can always open it up more, but it's harder to take the add material back. Once you get it real close, what I like to do then is sand this end as well with 80 grit sandpaper. So I have some 80 grit sandpaper, and of course you only want to sand the last inch and a half of the shaft. You just want to rough that up so you get a good bond and just taking that little bit off will also help your handle slide on a little easier. So you can see we're almost there. And voila, you can see now we've shortened it at that stage about an inch and a half. 
If you want to go a little more, you can always check your length, trim another little bit off the shaft, open up just a touch more. Then the key is when you go to bond it on is lining the handle up with your blade. And to do that, you mix five minute epoxy. I use a latex glove, get a little bit of glue inside the grip and also a little bit on the end of your shaft. And you can always make sure you use plenty. You can always wipe off the excess with a napkin when you're finished. And it's uh, pretty much that simple. For our round tapered shaft, it's the same process. You're gonna cut it just below the handle or where you wanna cut it. You're gonna sand the uh, top inch and a half of the shaft. Um, you can try and use the original handle by grinding it out to the original hole. Or what we use, again, is a, um, a uh, instead of a smaller one, we use a small one from McMaster Car on the uh, small oval tapered shafts, or we use this bigger one, which is about um, just the right size hole to get into that, you see. So we just start opening that up until it fits perfectly onto your round tapered shaft as well. And it's that simple. And keep in mind, you can always send this back to us to do for you. We just charge typically the, the cost of a new handle um, and the labor uh, to do it and um, ship it right back to you. If you wanna do this at home and you're pretty handsy, um, it's a good little project. And if you end up messing up the handle, you can always contact us to try and uh, get a replacement handle at that point. And if you can measure this precisely, we use um, digital calipers like this. Say you do cut your paddle down about five inches. If you can take a pair of digital calipers like these, um, these again can be purchased from a company like McMaster Car. And um, there's a metric, both metric and uh, imperial inch system uh, to the thousandths of an inch. You can just check the diameter at precisely and you can tell us, oh, it's 988 thousandths of an inch and we can send you a handle that's already opened up to that size. It'll fit your um, shaft. So if you know how to read calipers, um, this is our 950 diameter um, round tapered shaft and the oval tapered shafts are 0 .650, 650. So um, you, uh, the more and more you cut, the more you have to open up your grip. But um, most people are only trimming their paddles down you know, two, three, maybe four inches at the most. Or say they take the race paddle and they shorten it to a surf paddle, you know, they might shorten as much as six inches and you can still do that. Um, with the tapered shafts. Where you hold your bottom hand now is gonna be slightly bigger than where you were holding it, but it's still smaller than the, uh, the very big end, which is 1.15 in diameter.